If you're ready to make a penguin like this, I'm ready to give you the steps. No need to put your name on yet because we're going to be cutting out our penguins. You're going to start with a piece of black paper, turn it the tall way, and you're going to have a tracer. And what I want you to do is slide the tracer all the way to the bottom and then hold it down and trace around. We're going to be using construction paper crayons today. So if you get a light color like or, or yellow or white, you can trace. Okay, cut it out. I'm gonna cut inside the crayon line because I want my penguin to be black. Or if you cut outside of it, all you have to do is flip it over when you're ready to glue it down. Now, I'm not gonna recycle these scraps yet. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to cut one corner off and I'm gonna cut the other top corner off, like that. So I have flippers for their wings, okay? Now I can recycle this, okay? And there's my wings for my penguin, okay? I'm gonna glue those on right now. I have my glue stick. So I don't lose my wings, I'm gonna put a little glue on there and I'll glue them to the back. One on one side, one on the other side. You can have them waving and reaching up a little bit. Totally up to you. So I have started to build my penguin, okay? Next step, you need your penguin's eyes and white belly. So this is what we're gonna do. White paper this time, hold it the tall way and make a rainbow line any way that you want, right there. You can do that with crayon if you want. Do it with pencil, it's up to you. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue cap and I'm gonna trace by holding my cap down with my finger like that. You might have to stand up for this so you can see from the top. And I'm gonna go just like that. Now for your penguin's eyeballs, you can use, again, construction paper crayon, or crayon if you want for blue eyes. Maybe you can use a Sharpie, up to you. You can make the eyes any way that you want. I don't suggest eyelashes yet because you're not gonna be able to cut those out. If you make little circles in there, you're ready. We'll cut these out. If your eyes aren't cut out perfectly or if you don't want to trace the glue cap, that's fine. You can make whatever penguin eyes you want. You guys know by now you're going to figure out your own way of making it. These are just tips to get started. So there we go. Now I'll recycle these scraps. I don't think I'm going to need them. My penguin is ready. I will glue down the belly. I'll line up those lines right there. Glue down the belly, and then I'm gonna glue down the eyes near the top, so I'll have room for my beak and my scarf, okay? Your scarf can be up high, it can be covering a little bit of the white, it's totally up to you. Some of you might decide you don't want a scarf, but I hope you do, because it adds some color. You will be getting a choice of colors of scarves, maybe not a lot of, choices, but your purple and green. Maybe I'll try green for this one. Some pink in here. And what I'm going to notice is that's way too long. So I'm going to kind of measure his neck. And if it goes over the edge a little bit, like he's bundled up, that's just fine. Okay. Glue on and glue it down. Okay. If you want to fold up a wing, you can do that too. Like it's a pop-up. Totally up to you. Now with this tag end of the scarf, I might measure how far I want it to come down in front of my penguin, trim it a little bit, and I might cut some little triangles into it for the fringe of the scarf. That's easy. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
You can also cut like this if you want. Just straight up, make a bunch, and then you'll have a scarf like that that hangs down. Either way. I'm gonna go with this one and overlap a little bit. You can put it hanging down diagonally. You can glue just a little bit on so it's a little bit of a pop-up like that, like it's blowing, or you can glue it all the way down. Up to you, there's the scar. We are gonna be getting little pieces of orange paper. Okay, you can either draw a triangle on there or simply snip off the corner and there's your beak. Okay. I would hold it like a rocket ship for this part. Okay. Figure out where you want it. You can turn it sideways a little bit for a little personality or straight up and down, or you can put it up here between the eyes. I sometimes make it stick out over the scarf a little bit like that, as you can see from this one. Okay. And that's all there is to it. You're gonna get one last piece of paper and you can glue it this way or you can glue it this way. You might have a little bit more room for snowflakes if you do that. Flip your penguin over. I'm not gonna glue my wings down. I'm just gonna put some glue on its back. Again, I'm gonna line up the bottom of the purple paper with the bottom of my white and black. Boop, put them right in the middle. Might be a her, I don't know. And I'm done you will have construction paper crayons. So you will have scraps, construction paper crayons. So if you want to, snowflakes, patterns for your scarf, scraps of paper if you wanna add a party hat, earmuffs, snowflakes. Okay, so when we do that, it's X with a T on top. Very simple, X with a T on top. You can of course make Snow by just making little dots like that too, coming down. However you want to do it, and same with your scarf. Any pattern you want to put on is fine, or you can leave it plain. That looks just, just as good. And you don't need ear, ear muffs or a party hat if you don't want. But those are options if you have some scraps that you want to use for a hat. Easiest thing in the world. Boop. Boop. And there's my hat. Okay. If I want to do earmuffs, what I'll do is I'll fold and maybe I'll just cut a curve line like that. I got instant earmuffs. Okay. And then you can just draw a Sharpie line across the top easy. Have fun.